and then the preseason poll, and then we'll hear from the coaches. We're going to start with the preseason defensive player of the year, and that award goes to Aston Whiteside from Abilene Christian. He's a junior from Vernon, Texas, so this is the second straight year he's been named the preseason uh, defensive player of the year, and he certainly proved worthy last year earning first team all conference honors. On the offensive side of the ball, the preseason player of the year is Zach Estridge, quarterback from Midwestern State. He's a senior out of Rowlett and uh, set all kinds of passing records last year and led all of Division II in pass efficiency rating. And so those are your preseason players of the year in the South Division. And now we'll take a look at the preseason poll. Uh, picked to finish uh, in seventh is Incarnate Word. Picked in sixth is Angelo State. Uh, picked fifth with two first place votes is Texas A&M Kingsville. The fourth place pick with two first place votes is Tarleton State. Picked third with three first place votes, Midwestern State. Picked to finish as the runner up, again three first place votes, Abilene Christian. And this year's preseason favorite in the South Division, nine first place votes, 105 points total in the poll, West Texas A&M. And so that's your preseason poll for the South Division. We'll go ahead and call on our coaches to come up. We're going to start with Mike. Thanks, Stan. Uh, your staff did an awesome job with media, media day, and thanks to the university for allowing us to be here. Uh, I think I mentioned last year, good thing is preseason polls because it's fifth thing going to work in Kingsville, Texas. Um, who I have with me today, uh, Mr. Fred Noosh, right there uh, with External Affairs. Does an awesome job. Shane Mellon, our sports information director. Athletic director, Ken Oliver. And then I brought safety, Deira Glover. Uh, does a great job for us. He scored four touchdowns on defense last year. Just has a nose for football. Uh, he's not only a great player for us, he does everything off the field. Volunteering, he's in the classroom, he does everything right. And, uh, very fortunate to get to coach a guy like him. Uh, you know, where we are, we got, a, of course, the first question of who's going to be the quarterback. We got a lot of confidence, and uh, Daniel Ramirez and Nate Papa both competing for the job. I feel like we win with those guys. And then, you know, we returned uh, leading rusher, uh, Fred Winborn. Lost a couple offensive linemen. We won't get, get the experience back, but we feel like we upgraded athletically on the offensive line there. And then a receiving court that, I mean, it's going to leave some good with the home when we try. Um, defensively, uh, uh, all the secondary, besides one guy, will still be a little bit short on the corners. Might be a little bit taller than we were last year, but you know, I'll, we can go with short and we'll make it work. Um, all the safeties are back. Again, D. Glove uh, does a great job for us. Corey Robinson will be back for one more. And then the other one probably be Mark Kenny. And then uh, D. Line, we lost Jimmy Side on the point, but we've got some guys who can play inside there. And uh, Jimmy Lugo should be back on um, defensive line. And, uh, special team wise, Coach Smith graduated. We feel like we've got some good punters. And uh, we've created a lot more depth at every position and created a lot more competition. I think I'm excited about our special teams game, hopefully improving with that. Um, very blessed to be part of such a great university and part of a great conference. And uh, happy to be here. Best of luck to all you guys. And uh, again, if it's fifth, I may not be back. <laughs>